Despair and hopelessness are all too familiar emotions for Americans. Depression affects one in ten people. San Diego Reader staff writer Barbarella Focus opened up about her experience with depression in her latest Diary of a Diva column. Barbarella, thank you for coming on the program. What made you decide to write about depression now? Um, I had a, a, an acquaintance, Kurt Cunningham, uh, who was an advocate for suicide prevention, uh, recently ended his life. And uh, he was adamant about ending the stigma of depression and making sure that people knew where the resources were. And um, I did this in honor of him because having been a columnist for 11 years, I never wrote about it before. And why didn't you write about it before? I, <laughs> it's... it's uh, well, it's, okay. I've written about like, anxiety and neuroses and things like that, things that are kind of okay that you can make poke fun at. But this just, it, it seemed like a failure in some way, you know, P uh, like a not fun thing to talk about. And it was embarrassing. So I, I want to get back to that, but I want to talk about Kurt's passing. How has his death affected how you view your own struggle with depression? It scared me, honestly. It, it scared me because if somebody like Kurt, who has all of the resources and gives all the resources to other people, could get to a point where he saw no hope, I worried about myself. And, you know, there have been a lot of studies that, that actually could fuel worry. I mean, uh, these studies say that antidepressants and talk therapy are, absolute, are actually not as effective as originally thought. What has been your experience with these remedies? I, they were not that effective. I have tried therapy, and I was on an antidepressant for two years, and uh, I went off of it mm, maybe like four years ago. So, I mean, it didn't really do much for me. The thing that does something for me is connecting with other people. But you also write that sometimes it's very difficult to share mm -hmm. your depression with friends because they're eager to cheer you up and they talk about all the things that you have going for you and then that makes you feel like, gosh, you're ungrateful. What, what advice would you give to people who aren't depressed, who haven't had that experience? What advice would you give them in being good friends to people who do suffer from depression? That's great, and it's so great because I think that that's what people don't really understand. Our, our desire is to make you feel better. Everybody wants to fix it, but really the most helpful thing is to just be there let us go through it, let us experience it, know it's okay, because when you try to fix it, we feel like we're failing that too, like we're not good enough and, and we're failing at, at being happy. But just to be there and to say, you can talk to me, I'm here, no judgment, um, that's the best, really. When you're in the middle of it, um, and you, you say that talking to other people, connecting with other people helps, but when you're in the middle of it, do you see that there's going to be an end? Like, you, do you see light at the end of a tunnel? I hate to use that cliche, but... Well, but it, it's there for a reason. It makes sense, right? Uh, no. It feels like it's never going to be better. And uh, when things are okay, I can't imagine having felt that way. Uh, you know, I start the story, today I feel fine. You know, you wake up and you feel okay. I'm like, wow, how did I get that dark? How did I think ever that things could never be better? And I don't know, you know, the magic of it. That's what the, the doctors study, <laughs> you know. Uh, but it really doesn't. You, you know on some logic part of your brain that things are okay, but you can't, the emotions can't access that. And you also say that you can't logic your way out of it. And there are, as you say, all these other emotions that come with it, frustration at yourself that you're feeling this way, anger that you're feeling this way. Do you, have you developed any kind of path out of those feelings? No. And that's the saddest thing because there, there really isn't uh, that I have found. Now, inadvertently, by telling telling my husband and telling my sister that, you know, it helps and it helped me out, but no. And very quickly, you say that you've gotten quite a response on Facebook from you sharing your story about depression. Um, what has stood out for you the most uh, on what people are saying? Just that so many of them are experiencing the same thing and that so many of them don't tell the people who are closest to them. And, and when they open to me, when I say, hey, I'm going through this, 
it's it's an opening for them to communicate and connect and so that's been overwhelming and that was one of the inadvertent paths that helped me out of it. Barbara, Barbara Focus, thanks so much for coming on the thanks program. Thanks for having me. Yeah.